Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. So you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Tennis Ace Case Case Path. That's right. We are picking up where we left off last time, and I am oof dreading what's about to happen. I am just oh man. Looks like Kay is caught in a bit of a pickle. Anyway, y'all, let's see if he can unpickle himself out of this situation, and let's go ahead and jump right back in, shall we? Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go, baby girl. All right. <clears throat> Alex might be the one closest to me as the one in charge of my security, and over the years his responsibilities might have left the sole realm of protection and blood into service, but Kuroda was... Kuroda, you... Will this drama come to an end? I tire of it. You already get the gist, do you not, grandson? You were caught red-handed in the middle of a long-term felony. It is only due to my familial love that I do not report you to the proper authorities. Familial love? Like you know the meaning of the word. The old hag... The old hag scoffed, shaking her head, a smug smile never leaving her face. If anything, it only widened. It wounds me that you'd think of me in such a manner. And here we've done nothing but open our house and our hearts to you, taking you in despite the unorthodox circumstances of your birth, and you move behind the scenes to take advantage of our kindness. It appears we have given you too much freedom. Freedom? Since when have you have one have I been free? From the moment I stepped foot into this house, I was treated like nothing but a puppet. Hmm. <clears throat> the old... The old prune groaned, waving a hand in the air. Nonsense. You have been awarded all the liberties befitting one of your status. Ultimately, perhaps the fault lies upon myself for not being diligent enough with your discipline. Or perhaps this was only to be expected. Maybe not even the best education or and nurture can compensate when one is tarnished with such common blood. Common blood? What kind of 13th century bullshit is this? Before I can launch myself forward to strangle the old hag, I feel Alex's heavy hand falling on my shoulder and keeping me locked in place. I can one look on his face is all I need to get the message. If you do this, I won't be able to defend you. I know that. The Arushuhara Corporation picks their servants from all walks of life. Most of the people who work here have experienced fighting or working in unsavory fields. I'd be knocked down before I even had time to so much as touch her, and I'd be lucky to walk out of it with nary a broken bone. Not only that, no level of friendship would allow Alex to attack his employer. Assigned to me he may be, but he is still a servant of the Arushuhara Corporation. He's expected to protect all members of the family. If I were to become the aggressor, he'd have no choice but to stop me himself, forcefully if need be. How vexing. I bite my lower lip and attempt to calm myself. The jolt of pain is enough to bring clarity to my thoughts once more, allowing me to straighten my back and face forward once again. There is, however, a lingering metallic taste in my mouth. Am I expected to merely sit down and accept blame without defending myself? I could very well choose to sue. No matter how you may spin your story, the reality is that that money still rightfully belongs to me. It might have come from the Arushihara estate's coffers, but it was given to me as my allowances. That I chose to save it is no one's business but my own. Certainly, we are not barbarians. We are law-abiding citizens like all the rest. If you are capable of proving such, we shall gladly forgo all punishments. I'll even provide proper compensation from mine own personal funds as a show of regret. Of course, there is a matter of how you are going to pay for such services. Attorneys certainly do not come cheap. They don't expect us to pay for you to move, move, a, lawsuit to move a lawsuit against us. Kind I may be, but do not take me for a fool, boy. You. I can't... I can't take this for even one more second. The tendrils of rage lashing around... Lashing around inside me threaten to go out of control if I can't find an outlet for them right away. My entire body tenses up, preparing itself for an impending fight. I'm sorry, Alex. If this continues, I will not be able to control myself. It seems you have no way to refute this. A pity. I expected better. Did we not teach you to always be prepared for potential setbacks, boy? It seems you require further instruction. I am already fine with the level of tutoring I am given at the moment. Besides, I believe I have more than passed all the requirements you constantly set for me. You have no ground to nitpick me. That certainly is true, although I am tempted to attribute this to my own exaggerated lenience. Heh, <laughs> no matter. The bitch waves her hand across the air again. One of her favorite gestures to make, of course. I am tired of this petty squabble. Saga, as his parent, it is ultimately your responsibility to deal with your child. Do not sit there and expect me to do all the work. You can lay out the punishments for him yourself. Father tenses up as soon as she calls his name, his eyes flicking down to the floor once again. Yes, yes, certainly, I, I can do that, Mother. <clears throat> he clears his throat one more time. Whether that is an attempt at defusing a tense situation or merely a show of nerves, I truly cannot tell. Keisuke, okay, to say that we, that, that I am disappointed would be an understatement. Of course it goes without saying that severe punishment is required to correct this abhorrent behavior. Forgive my indiscretion, but I am but am I truly expected to play along with this farce? You better than anyone know that know what that money was and where it came from. You gave it to me yourself. Of course the fact that it was given in cash means it was also completely untraceable. By design, no doubt. 
Regardless, I am under no obligation of just sitting here and accepting this, this circus show. The deck might have been stacked against me, but that doesn't mean I have to play. I stand from my seat, making sure to stare both of them down for a moment, if only to try and exude some confidence I do not truly have. If I show any weakness here, they will descend on top of me like vultures. I can't, however, bring myself... I can't, however, bring myself to look at Kuroda. My heart won't be able to handle it. Keisuke, stop. Silence. Alex reached his hand to stop me, but was quickly interrupted by a command from Grandmother, freezing immediately where he stood. This matter does not concern you, Wolf. A half-blood he may be, but he is still of Arushihara blood. Our line is a proud one that can be traced all the way back to the Ashi Ashikaga Shogunate. You will not give him orders to tell him or tell him what to do. Neither shall you address him in such an informal manner. He is your master and is to be treated as such. Second, y'all. Water time. Oh, damn, this is fucking good. I mean, the water also, but like this. This whole situation is like drama. Like drama gold. Very well, my lady. My sincerest apologies. It was unbecoming of me. Your transgression shall be overlooked this time, for I am feeling kind. Do not push your luck. Yes, my lady. Alex bows to her, making the blood coursing through my veins boil with insurmountable fury. I have dealt with her many times before. I thought I had seen her at her worst already, but this, this, this is fucking unforgivable. The fact that I can't speak up about it only makes me even angrier. I desperately want to say something, to lash out, but I know I can't. If I did, I would only make the situation worse for Alex and myself. And while I might be able to swallow some extra punishments with my head held high, Alex should not be made to suffer due to my mistakes. Now, sit down, boy, if you know what is good for you. One look at Alex is all I needed to remind myself of reasons why I should grin and bear it. She wouldn't hesitate to torment him to get to me, and I am sure of it. No matter what, I cannot allow that to happen. Very well. It seems I have little choice. Good. You catch on fast. By your stubbornness, you have quite a good head on your shoulders. I hate you so much. <clears throat> well... If I may get back to the matter at hand. You will hear no further objections from me. Father hesitates for a second before nodding. As the matter at hand was quite serious, appropriate punishment is required. Starting today, you will need to submit an application whenever you need or desire for something to be bought or paid for for you. Those shall be analyzed, and if the expenses are deemed acceptable, they shall be done so directly by a third party. So you are saying I won't get an allowance anymore. Understood. I can already guess what their intentions are with this. The amount of money I had managed to save was sizable enough that I could make a living for the rest of my life with it. A middle-class living, but a living regardless. If they wish to bind me to the Rushihara Corporation, truly force me to become its heir, they cannot have me using the money they've supplied me with over the years to run away and achieve independence. Which, sadly, was exactly what I planned. I was already prepared to start looking for apartments on Monday. Honestly, he should have moved it to a different account. Since, since Kuroda flipped to their side, they will have caught wind of my plans. In actuality, they might have known them from the start. The timing is just too suspicious for that to not be the case. Once again, the feeling of being covered by a cold shroud assails me, as if all my blood suddenly froze over from its previously heated state. And if, if Kuroda is on their side now, then they will know about Yuichi and I. No, 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 that is the last thing they should know about. Noticing the realization and dread spreading through my face, the old prune smiles again. She clearly delights in my misery, which is already disturbing all on its own. Furthermore, we shall examine your extracurriculars more closely. If need be, a curfew might be installed to make sure you are not shirking your duties. Your tutors will also be informed of your newfound expectations. They need to prepare you for university. Nothing short of excellence can be expected from a member of the Rushihara family. I, I must bear it. No matter what, I need to find a way to keep this anger in check. If they really know about Yuichi and I, the last thing I can afford now is to give them more reasons to come after me. I'll play the part of a diligent son if need be, but I can't allow my loved ones to become targets. Anything else? Father hesitates again. Glancing at the bitch's direction for a second, almost as if he were stealing himself for something. While the agreements we have established allowed you to go to the school and be a part of this tennis club, there was never any agreement for further extracurriculars. I've advised you in the past, but I fear recent events require me to be more severe. You will quit this band you have been spending time with. What? Wait a second! I've fulfilled every single task you've given me! Surely there is no need to go that far! Do not be ridiculous, boy. It is unbecoming of one of your status to be walking around with these musician types. If I may even call them that. Whatever that noise you probably parade around making is, it certainly is not music. That, that is your opinion. You have already placed a leash around my neck. Music is, it's important to me. Second, y'all. Water time. Absolutely, <clears throat> absolutely not. One answer curricular is enough. Your time is already stretched thin as it is with just tennis. Of course, a concession could be made if you were, will if you were playing real music. 
Since that is not the case, however, I'll pick up the violin again. Just let me stay with the band. <sighs> Man, Jesus Christ. Father looks away, biting his lower lip, a habit very similar to my own. Perhaps, it's a ge perhaps it is genetic after all. On the other hand, the old prune smiles. I tell you that your schedule is already far too taxed as it is, and the solution proposes to stretch it even more? Have you lost your wits, boy? So long as I keep hitting all the milestones you give me, surely there won't be a problem, right? I can lose a few hours of sleep if it's necessary. I will do it. You know I can accomplish any task once I set my mind to it. Hmm. She taps her chin, quietly musing to herself. Father was supposed to be the one administering my punishment, but it's painfully clear that he has nothing but a puppet in here as well. Just doing as he is told, obeying each and every command without resistance. Is that really the future that awaits me? Every single attempt I make at rebellion, go at rebellion going to meet the same fate? If, if, if even the music I love is to be taken from me, I finally found a place where I can really feel at ease, where I can talk to truly like-minded individuals. Am I really going to lose it all at now of all times? Very well. I feel charitable enough. Well, I mean, truly? You shall allow it? However, the leash, as you so elegantly put it, will be a very short one indeed. Fail at even a single assignment, and you will be made to withdraw from it. Fail at multiple, and we just might be forced to revisit our agreements in regards to your schooling and tennis. You, you wouldn't dare. And that is to say nothing of your company. What is the name of the boy you've had over a few times before? The tennist. True to the sin... True to the sense of dread I'd been feeling, just hearing her mention him is enough to drain all the blood from my face. Seeing that this undoubtedly brings her great joy, I am made aware that you are fostering good relations with him. Your dalliances are your own to deal with. I can forgive a few indiscretions, especially if it is with someone that could yet be assigned under the Urushi Urushihara name. His career could bring us good publicity. No, absolutely not. You will not use him as a pawn in your games. I do not believe I offered you a choice, boy. You would be wise to remain silent unless spoken to. I'll kill her. I swear to the gods there may be, I will kill her! Regardless, you are free to do as you wish as long as you continue to hit your established milestones. Your progress will be watched carefully. In the meantime, now that you are of age, we shall begin the process of choosing an appropriate partner for you. A, a partner? Of course, you do not honestly expect to marry this boy, do you? Foster whatever relations you wish behind the scenes if you must, but you will marry someone with a name worthy of your station. A half-blood you may be, but you still carry the name of the name Arushihara. No way! While I am still caught in my stupor, Grandmother turns her head towards Father, shooting him a, chi a chiding look that causes him to look away once more. Alright, y'all. One second. Water time. Mousy coward. And perhaps if your dear old father were not making the process of finding a partner for him to remarry so difficult, we would not need to expedite the process for you. However, the Arushihara family can only go so long with its head and future head remaining without family prospects. If we do not show that we can still generate heirs, we will be seen as weak. There you go about appearances again. There are more important things in life than that. Maybe if you had been allowed to actually experiment with loving something, you wouldn't have turned into such a cruel, bitter old witch. My apologies, Mother. It is not as if I were trying to make this more difficult than it need be. We shall speak of such matters at a later time. For now, I am tired of all this. Now that the situation has been dealt with, I shall retire to my quarters. She raises a hand, snapping her fingers. Her attendant moves at the blink of an eye, quickly supporting her as she gets up and she gets up and back on her feet. Grandmother launches us one last look before speaking. And of course, it goes without saying, but Hirazawa will remain assigned as your as your head attendant. He shall also keep an eye on you to make sure you are behaving as is fit for an heir of Arushihara. Remember, one transgression is all it takes. With a lost ominous warning, she has her attendant escort her out of the room, leaving the five of us alone in here. Father visibly relaxes when she leaves, letting out a sigh as if he'd been holding his breath this entire time. He attempts to flash me a smile, but the frown on his face remains as present as always. I am sorry. This should not have happened. Keisuke, I... Master, I believe I need not remind you, but I am under orders to report, uh, to report on Keisuke Sama's interactions to Lady Shioko. It would be unwise to speak freely in my presence. At those words, Father tenses up again, shooting Kuroda an angry look. Yes, that is true. Thank you for reminding me, Kuroda. I believe I shall excuse myself to my own quarters now. Kuroda smiles, nodding and bowing as Father gets up from his seat. Very well, Master. I wish I wish you find restful sleep to help ease your burdens. And I you, Kuroda. Without another word, Father and his attendant, too, leave the room, leaving me alone with Alex and Kuroda, free to sulk in my own complicated thoughts. Now that the three of us are alone, Alex glares even more fully at Kuroda than before. The fox, if intimidated, shows no signs of it. 
However, however, he continues to display his signature smile regarding both Alex and myself with curiosity and cheerfulness. Now, now, I believe you and I have both left that sort of life a long time ago, Alexander. It would not do to show you how... It would not do to show such unrestrained animosity and murderous intent to a co-worker. You heard the lady. I am to remain in my duties as Case Case Sama's attendant. It would be best for all of us to get along now, wouldn't it? Kuroda, would I be correct in assuming there was no dissuading you from referring to me in such a manner? I'm afraid so, Keisuke sama My new position does not afford me the freedom to be casual with you anymore, nor do I believe you wish it other th you wish it after what has transpired. Of course, I could refer to you as young master instead, but that would likely only alienate you further, would it not? You... I will get back at you for this eventually, Kuroda. Just you watch. Such a betrayal will not go unpunished. Now, I believe it is time for you to retire to your own quarters, Keisuke sama It would not do for you to stay awake into the late hours of the night. As you wish. No, no, it is not I who wishes it. You heard the lady. You ought not to take orders from one such as myself. It is merely what the lady herself would wish for. <sighs> You're just using her name as a way to force me into doing whatever you want me to do. Kuroda, I never thought you were this kind of person. A wolf in sheep's clothing, clothing or maybe just a snake. And for what? Or for the sake of climbing, uh, climbing in the internal ladder of the company? What a hollow victory and a hollow life. If your soul was, worthy, was, a, was a worthy price to pay... Oof. Yep. All right, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there. All right, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks for it. If you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.